हाय गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल कैसे हो आप लोग टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू रिटर्न रिस्पांस फर्स्ट फ्रॉम स्प्रिंग बूट सर्विसेज एंड देन प्रोसेस द रिक्वेस्ट सो समटाइम्स वी हैव सच रिक्वायरमेंट वेयर वी नीड टू रिटर्न द रिस्पांस फर्स्ट फ्रॉम द वेब सर्विस वेब सर्विसेज एंड देन प्रोसेस द रिस्पांस like we uh, for example we are processing a large number of records large size of records then in that case to notify the browser first we will return the response from our controller and then we will process the request further so for that we can achieve that using spring boot async method so if you will use async then we can achieve this functionality so let's see how we can uh, use that using a example so let's start the example so i have created this async demo spring boot applications now we will implement one controller over there so this is my class structure Project structure. So this is a controller package and service package I have already created. I need to uh, create the controller class and service class. This is my Spring Boot starter application. So this is Spring Boot uh, starting point of the Spring Boot application. So to enable async. In our function, we need to use one annotation called enable async. So let me use that. At the rate enable async. So this is the annotation. So if we annotate a Spring Boot main class as at the rate enable async, then asynchronous functionality will be enable in our applications then we will create one controller simple controller so let me create the simple controller okay so i will keep controller name as async controller So let me annotate it as a red controller. Okay, and then I need to map the request. So I will use request mapping. Request mapping. Some endpoint like test async. Then I will create my controller class. The controller class will be I will I need to declare one method. So I will declare something like public response entity. Uh, I will text string. I will just return one message here. So get message. Get message I am creating. So this is my need to annotate as at the rate get mapping. Okay. So point will take us get message. Get message. Now I will return like new response entity yes. HTTP uh, to take one message to message one two I need to take the message uh, I'll take the since yet TTP status and we return some status messages 
okay here you can take one message message will give like from async method controller as from async controller okay What it is saying the method manager is a doctor response type string. Okay, so this is string. Okay. So now we will create our server. We'll create one interface as sync. I'll keep name as iAsync service. So we'll declare one message void async message so here's uh, remind one thing async method return type should be either void or future type callable interface you can use if you are not using void so here I am just I will just print the message so I am using void instead of void and uh, apart from void or uh, like level interface return type you cannot use anything otherwise async annotation will not work so let me create the implementation class for this so this will be the IK async service implementers IMPX so, so implement, implements iAsync server async service. Now I need to override the method here. I can declare this method as adjacent async. I need to do some async processing here. So return return some message i want to return some message like from async server server okay but how we will uh okay so here i need to print this message that's the method return type is void so i only Print the message. Okay, so here I can only print the message. So I that's why I, I have used this system dot out dot print LN. Now, now I need to put some thread that slip so that it will show that the process is still running, but our controller method already written before this service method print this message our controller should return the response that's what we need to check right right so let's leave it for 24 okay so we need to keep it in try catch okay now what I am expecting here, my controller methods will be written from async controller class this message first and then it will print on console. It will print this message on console. So, first this API will be written with the message which is defined in this controller class and then 
Assign method will execute and it will print this method. First, it will enter into the slip and then it will print this message. That's what we are expecting from this async method. So let's build these applications. So run as Maven build. Clean install. So you can see here clearly my application started building. Once it builds successfully, then I will execute it and see the output. So you can see here the application is built successfully. Now we will run it in will run it so run as java applications Mm -hmm. One thing I have not added this last year. So now, now I can build it. I mean, I can run it directly. <coughs> so the application runs successfully. So now let's open Postman and test the. <coughs> API. So my API name is test URL is something test async. <coughs> so this is our endpoint. So we'll hit this endpoint. So you can see this is returning from async controller class. Now we will see the console for server output. Server will print the message after few seconds as we have used thread or slip. <coughs> Sorry guys. So this is this message is printed from my controller class. Now I am waiting for server to process this method and print this message in my console as we have put this thread door slip so this process is executing in separate thread and it is currently in sleeping mode once this thread start running it will print this message in console so let's wait few seconds So basically I have put this thread door slip to state that this process is separately running. At the same time we already return the response from our controller. But the process is still running. It is taking the time. That's what I want you to understand from this program. <coughs> Sorry guys, this I forgot to do one thing. I have not called this controller class, so service class less auto air it.
sorry i was forget that i should call this method but i okay now it is done no problem you can run it again <coughs> This one some error. I think sorry. Okay. So it is saying it is not able to find I think sorry service. Can you guys tell me why it is not finding the class? Because I have not mentioned other service annotation in my service class implementation class. <coughs> Let me use that. Now it should work. <coughs> So you can see the application started successfully. Let me execute this endpoint. You can see the message here. Now we should go to the console. So let's wait for a few seconds. The service should print the message. Yeah, you can see here. Service already printed the message from async server, right? So I hope you you understood this problem and the use of async method. So here, what happened? My async controller. As soon as I, as I hit the controller. I call this controller. Controller return me a response with 200 status code with this message. This message I have defined in my controller client. <coughs> and after that, my service class is executed and this async method called. I have I had put this sleep third or sleep method. So after sleep, it will execute this message this statement and it prints the <coughs> statement here so you can see here so guys so if you have similar requirement then you can go for async asynchronous method call whenever you require to return your response first then process the request then you can go for async okay guys so in next video i will show you like how we can use uh, use to upload csv file in case of async method for example in our controller we want to upload a large csv file asynchronously then how we can do that this is a that is a bit tricky because async method is not directly support the uh, like uh, multi part file upload so there is a loophole i will explain in that my next video so guys request you to subscribe my channel and like this video it will motivate me to make more videos thank you for watching thank you